Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I am back with another video of Apex Trigger series. In today's scenario, we are going to work on roll up summary trigger. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Before starting our code, let's understand this scenario first. In today's scenario, we are going to count number of contacts associated with an account. And after that, we will show that contacts count on parent account record. So let's create our trigger. But wait. On which object we should create a trigger? On contact object or on account object? So here we will check that on which object we are going to perform actions like insert, update or delete. So we are going to perform actions on contact object. Therefore, we will create a trigger on contact object. Count score. Here we need to give Subject name remove this. Now let's understand some important points for this trigger. Any contact related to an account can be counted only after it gets saved to database. That's why we are going to use after trigger. Now let's understand by what ways we can change the count of contacts on an account. We can change count of contacts by insert operation. So we have to use after insert operation. Next, we can change count by update operation also. I mean, we can change the parent account for any contact. Therefore, we have to use after update also. Let's use after update. Next is we can also delete a contact on an account. So let's use after delete also and last is by undelete operation here undelete means restoring a contact from recycle bin so let's use undelete also after undelete now what we will do we will fetch parent account id of contacts on these operations and after that, we will store it in a set. So let's create a set first. New set ID. Set to store parent account ID of contacts. Now on insert and undelete operation, we can have only trigger.new. That's why we can use both insert and undelete operation together. Like this. Is after. Is insert. Is undelete. Now whatever I will write inside this if condition will only be executed on insert and undelete operation and also after record gets saved to database. Let's apply a null check on trigger.new and iterate over it. It's empty. Let's iterate over it. Now, Let's apply a null check on account ID also. Account ID not equals to null and add this in set. See in Apex, it is the best practice to apply a null check while doing something like this. Now we will have account ID on insert and undelete operation. Now let's fetch account ID on update operation also. We will write same code as above but with some differences. This is after and here we will use update. Now the code inside this if condition will only be executed 
only on after update event because these two will return true only after updation of record now the important thing is that whenever we change or update the parent account of our contact we need to fetch id of both new parent account and old parent account because we need to update count of contacts on both accounts but how we are going to do it so we will use trigger.oldmap here we will fetch new parent account id by trigger.new and old parent account id by trigger.oldmap and after that we will compare them and we will add both account ids in our set so let's see how first let's apply a null check over trigger.new and write it over it is empty let's iterate over it now let's compare id of new parent account and old parent account and add both in set not equals to So this is new parent account ID and this is old parent account ID. Apply a null check on both. Not equals to null. And add it in set. We need to do same thing on new parent account ID also. Not add. At last, only delete operation is left on which we have to fetch account ID. In delete operation, we cannot have new version of record. Therefore, we cannot use trigger.new here because after deletion of a record, new version of record does not exist so we will use trigger.old trigger dot is after this is for delete operation apply a null check over trigger.old Iterate over it. Apply apply a null check on account ID also. And add it in set. Now we have parent account ID of contact on every operation which can change count of contacts on an account. Now we just need to fetch number of contacts. For that, let's apply a null check over this set. It's empty. Now this code will run only if this set contains a value. And we will use SOCAL to fetch number of contacts on an account. And after that, we will store that contacts count in a custom field of account. Let's fetch account records. Select ID. Number of contacts. So this is the custom field on an account in which we are going to store contacts count. Next, is IDs. Here we are using parent to child query to fetch all contacts present on an account. 
let's apply a null check on this list. Is empty. Iterate over it. And we will store number of contacts in this field. For that, let's copy this field name. Paste it here. And we can fetch number of contacts on an account by using size method. Now it is a best practice to bulkify your code and to not use TML inside for loop. So we will create a list and we will add these accounts to that list. And after that, we will perform DML on it. So let's create a list first. Accounts to be updated. Copy its name. Add this account to list. Apply a null check. And update. Save this trigger. And deploy it to our org. Okay, it is successfully deployed. Now it's time to check whether our trigger is working fine or not. For that, let's go to account. We will check on insert operation first. So we will insert a contact. Test con one. Let's add a few more contacts. Refresh this page. Here you can see that we have three contacts on this account. And here also this field is showing three, which means our trigger is working fine for insert operation. Now let's check for delete. For that, let's delete this contact. Refresh this page again. Now we can see that two contacts are present on this account. Go to details. And it is also showing two, which means our trigger is working fine for delete operation also. Now let's check for update operation. For that, we will update the parent account of this contact. We will change it to test account 2. Click on save. Refresh this page. Now only one contact is present here. Go to details. And it is also showing one. Go to other account. Go to details and it is also showing one which means our trigger is working fine for update operation and at last let's restore a contact from recycle bin to check on undelete operation for that let's go to recycle bin let's restore this contact go to account Refresh this. Go to this account. So this is the contact which we restored from recycle bin. Now there are two contacts present on this account. Go to details and yes. It is also showing too, which means our trigger is working fine for each and every operation. So that's it for today, guys.
if you have any scenario for me then please comment i would love to hear your feedback thank you